In today's video, I'm going to guide you through installing a Microsoft Macro Sampler or MAS for 64-bit Windows. So, uh, if we look at the official MAS documentation, uh, we see a note here that uh, MASM tools aren't available as a separate download. For instructions on how to download and install a copy of Visual Studio, see Install Visual Studio. If you, you only want the command line tools, not the full IDE, download the build tools for Visual Studio. Now, uh, previously in uh, old versions, uh, there was uh, separate mass download available. I also saw online some uh, comments in different forums that uh, there are uh, still some uh, downloads available for uh, directly downloading mass. However, uh, none seem to work. And according to this official documentation, uh, you can get a copy of mass either as part of a Visual Studio installation or uh, by uh, downloading the build tools for Visual Studio. I'm uh, going to use this uh, second option because I only want the command line uh, interface for the mask. So uh, you should download the build tools for Visual Studio. Now uh, here um, the build tools um, allow you to build Visual Studio projects from a command line interface uh, supports uh, different projects so on it does not mention uh, mass but still mass is uh, in this download so uh, once you click on uh, download you will get a setup file uh, when you run it uh, you get something like this now uh, you can uh, perhaps install one of these workloads but uh, I went for the individual components. Uh, maybe you can see here I already installed uh, three components, but uh, in order to get uh, MASM, uh, you only need this uh, MSVC uh, version 143 in my case, and uh, you can uh, actually search for it here. Okay, and uh, you can see uh, there are uh, build tools for uh, ARM, but uh, I want for uh, Intel 64-bit, so uh, you have it here, uh, x64, x86 build tools uh, latest, okay, so uh, you can uh, install uh, this one, in my case I have a specific version selected but it doesn't really matter uh, you should probably go with uh, this uh, latest version uh, and uh, if you don't want to search for it you just want to look through the options uh, we have here compilers build tools and run times and here we see this uh, msvc and uh, at some point we see uh, the MSVC uh, C++ build tools uh, for x64, x86. So actually when you install this, uh, you have the capability to build either 32-bit uh, or 64-bit uh, assembly programs with uh, mass. And you also get the C compiler linker and so on. So. Uh, you should have available a uh, number of gigabytes. Uh, I think this was about 146 gigabytes. Uh, but you should have a number of gigabytes available. Now, if you also want to compile C programs and link them against uh, standard libraries, uh, then you also need Windows uh, SDK. Uh, in uh, my case, I also installed this one, but uh, as I said, if you only want mass, then this one is enough. After uh, the installation is complete, uh, you will see uh, here installed 
uh, Visual Studio Build Tools uh, 2022 and you have here a launch button. Now if you press on this launch button um, it will uh, give you a prompt, uh, you have access to ML but this is the 32 uh, bit version so uh, if I want to run ML64 uh, then it doesn't uh, work so um, what can you do about it uh, you, you can uh, look for a 64 bit uh, development uh, prompt in your start menu it should be installed uh, but uh, you can also uh, set the path uh, to where you installed uh, the build tools and uh, in my case it's something like uh, C program file 686 Microsoft Visual Studio 2022 build tools VC tools MSVC uh, the version here uh, being uh, host x64 x64 so in this case, uh, if uh, I set this path, now uh, I get access to the uh, macro assembler uh, for 64-bit uh, windows. So you can do that or you can uh, directly start a command prompt uh, for 64-bit uh, development. So I hope this was helpful and in uh, future videos I'll show some assembly language programs for 64-bit uh, windows. So don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.